Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Uh, now that we've finished all the bow skills, I'm working on the javelin skills. That's right, so we're going to be doing Lightning Fury soon. Uh, but this particular video is going to be on Poison Javelin and Plague Javelin. And I feel like we kind of need to combine these two together, uh, because although they are very similar abilities, they are different in many, many ways. Um, and going over the differences between these abilities, I think, is probably the most important thing I can do when it comes to these two abilities. So what is Poison Javelin and Plague Javelin? They are javelins that you can toss that dish out poison damage. However, the two have different effects. So one of them is a straight attack, and the other one is a cloud. As you can see, it actually sort of exhumes out from the cloud. Uh, but there's more differences than just that. So Poison Javelin has a duration of 88 seconds, which is kind of insane. Um, it's over a minute. It does a massive 108,000 damage with this particular build that I'm running. And I actually have done this on a theory craft before, so if you want to take a look at that video, I do have that up. Um, the 108,000 damage isn't quite as much as it looks like, though, because of the massive time. Whereas the 84,000 uh, damage, or 8 to 85,000 damage on the Plague Javelin is only over 11 seconds, which is far shorter in general. However, um, there is a casting delay on both of these. One of them has a casting delay of 0.6 seconds, and the other one has a casting delay of 1. Um, now, when you hit multiple targets, you actually get multiple clouds with the 11 second version, which is the Plague Javelin. Um, Plague is the fast one. And with the other one, the straight line one, the Poison Javelin, um, it doesn't really give clouds, but it does have a nice poison damage effect. And because of the insanely long duration, you can kind of just throw it and forget it, and most of the monsters will just die eventually anyway. Um, it doesn't really take too long for most monsters to bleed away from the bigger poison. However, if you want the quicker damage, the Plague Javelin is definitely your choice for the quicker damage. Now, there's other aspects to this, as most Javelin abilities have physical damage attached to them. So for this particular ability, you'll notice there's two numbers written on the screen. One is the bigger number at the bottom. That is the ability damage. Uh, the other one is my physical damage combined with whatever other elemental damage that I might have. Now, that is actually separate from the poison. So I don't actually have to physically hit the target for the poison to take effect. Um, the hit is only for the additional physical damage, which would be my life steal and my mana steal, um, and any additional elemental damage that I might have. Uh, like, say, for instance, I was using Venom, um, when I had maybe Poison Charms. Poison Charms would not add to the, the poison damage, but it does add to the hit damage that I'm pushing out. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't even really take that many javelins to honestly just burn down a target. And you can look at this monster's HP just drain away into nothingness. And if that's not impressive enough, what should be impressive to you is this is in Players 8. So in Players 8, she is melting away targets like this. Um, absolutely great. Now, of course, she can't really do anything to the catapults because they're immune. But um, it's actually kind of insane how quickly she can just drain away the health on monsters. Um, and that's using the Plague Javelin, which is most likely going to be your main ability. Uh, Poison Javelin is a little weird, and I'm not even really sure if it's worth using. With the 88 seconds on it, yes, it will poison a monster, but it takes far longer for the monster to die due to the, the high duration. Um, I mean, for instance, this is Plague Javelin, and you can see just how quickly Plague Javelin drains away the monster's HP to nothingness. Whereas the same monster with Poison Javelin, notice it's a much slower drain, although it does last for a longer period of time. Um, it's definitely a lot slower in terms of uh, output. So you almost kind of want to just ignore the fact that Poison Javelin exists, even though you have to build it anyway for the synergy, because you need the 20 points to get your Plague Javelin damage high enough. Um, but the Plague Javelin is definitely the superior choice for most targets. I mean, you can just see how quickly it drains the P8 monster's life away into nothingness. 
Now, I could maybe see um, a, a use for Poison Javelin if you were somewhere and you were just kind of like spamming abilities as much as possible. I'm not really sure. Maybe if it's a boss or something like that and you don't really care so much about speed as just making sure that they're dying. Maybe you're kiting a lot. Maybe you're inside the Ubers. I don't really know. Could be an interesting choice for a really high H HP monster that you're kiting around. That way you don't have to fire as many javelins. You don't have to stop as much. You can just spend most of your time kiting and not dying. So you would just throw the javelins and just keep running like this. Um, only, that's the only thing I can think of that the high duration, high damage one would be good for is if you were kiting. Like if you were just doing a lot of kiting. Now it will eventually kill the targets. It's just it's speed is kind of more important than than duration. And as you can see, it's just way better to use the Plague Javelin. Um, now, this build wasn't really one that was super pl plausible back when um, 2.4 came out. But when 2.5 came out and uh, we got the Sunder Charms, the Sunder Charms made it possible to stack as much negative resistance as you could. And you can see I have a massive negative 50% enemy resistance here. I'm utilizing a four-faceted Superior Monarch, a four-faceted Superior Archon, and a two-faceted Bloodbite Diadem. Um, so literally I have one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten poison facets in this build to make it work. Um, that's how this character is doing so much poison damage and doing it so quickly. Um, because in combination with the poison facets and the sunder, um, the monster's resistances are getting broken down to an extremely low level. And I've also combined in the Plague Sword on the Mercenary for an additional lower resistance to get that resistance even lower. Uh, so most of these monsters are actually sitting in the negatives on poison resistance, and that's how this build works. Um, as you can see, it's an extremely effective build, even in P8. It just melts through monsters with, with no ease. Um, it's also a very, I think it's important to, to point this out, it's a very cheap build. So 20 points in Poison Javelin and 20 points in Plague Javelin is extremely cheap. You have 40 points total investment. And at level 95, you're looking at 106 skill points, which means you've got tons of skill points to put somewhere else. You can build into a physical build if you would like, maybe grab Fend or Jab or Impale. You can also go into the passive and magic tree and you could stack up things like your your pierce, or you could stack up your evades so that you're more tanky. Um, you could also build a very high level Valkyrie with relative ease, or stack up one of the slow missiles or inner sight or things like that to make yourself tankier. Uh, slow missiles recently got the physical damage reduced by modifier added to it, which means it actually can make your character pretty tanky. Um, with level 20 slow missiles, I am looking at a uh, physical damage reduction of 36% and uh, a ranged attack slow of 29%, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, just to make myself tankier. Uh, makes my Valkyrie tankier too, actually. It's kind of, it, it honestly is very fun. To watch the monsters melt away into nothingness. Their their HP just just drains. This So another interesting thing is is range of attack. So we talk about this a lot with Amazon abilities is how far they go. So if I throw this javelin, you'll notice it doesn't make it off the screen. Um, that is an unfortunate side effect of this particular ability, so it doesn't really go very far. Um, and you will have to take that into account when you use it. Uh, Poison Javelin, on the other hand, has a much farther travel distance. As you can see, I can practically attack off the screen with Poison Javelin, uh, versus the same Plague Javelin barely even goes half the distance. Uh, so you will be a little bit closer to the fight 
with Plague Javelin. You will be a little bit closer into, you know, the combat, which is kind of good because, you know, you have plenty of extra points to spend on making yourself tankier or building things like slow missiles, which will, again, make you tankier, or grabbing the Valkyrie, which will certainly help keep those monsters away from you. So all in all, it should work out pretty nicely. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watch my videos, um, even when we are talking about some very poisonous abilities like Poison Javelin and Plague Javelin. And uh, as always, keep watching.